Hi everyone, so this is the second example on plotting complex numbers and eigen diagrams. So in example three, we've been asked to solve these equations and represent their solutions on an eigen diagram. So for question A, we have z squared plus 6z plus 13 equals zero. So to solve this quadratic, we're going to use the method of completing the square. So we'll have z We'll have a six would give us three. We'll complete the square by taking away the nine. Then we'll add back in this 13. And this will equal zero. We can simplify the negative nine add 13 and move it over to the right hand side. So we've got z plus three squared. The positive four will go into the negative four on the right hand side. And then we'll take the square root of both sides. So z plus 3 will equal plus or minus the square root of negative 4. And if we think about this negative 4, well, we can write this as the square root of 4 multiplied by the square root of negative 1, just using the rule of thirds. And we know the square root of negative 1 is i, and this will be 2i. So z plus 3 will equal plus or minus 2i. Then all we need to do is take away this positive 3 from both sides. So z will equal negative 3 plus or minus 2i. Now we can show this on our eigen diagram. We'll have negative 3 on the real axis and positive 2i for our imaginary axis. This will be negative 3 plus 2i. We'll call this z. And then for our other solution, we'll have negative 3 minus 2i. So this will be here. If this one we're calling z, then this will be the complex conjugate of z, which we'll call z star. And if you notice that the z and its complex conjugate are reflected in the real axis. And this will always be the case for complex roots of quadratic equations one will be a reflection of the other. Okay, so for part B, if we were to solve this equation again by completing the square, we'll have z minus two squared, complete the square by taking away the four, and then add back in the 20. So z minus two, negative four plus 20 will be 16. We can move the 16 over to the right hand side. So z minus 2 will be equal to a plus or minus the square root of negative 16. And if you've got the square root of negative 16, one well, this would be root 16 multiplied by the square root of negative 1, or 4i. So z minus 2 will be equal to plus or minus 4i. We'll add the 2 to both sides. So z will equal 2 plus or minus 4i. And on our eigen diagram, we'll have 2 for the real axis and 4 for the imaginary axis. We'll call this z1 and then 2 for the real and negative 4 for the imaginary. And this will be z1 star. And again, if you notice that z and its complex conjugate z1 star are reflected in a real axis, okay?